Affinity Publisher doesn't have a snapshot feature, but that doesn't mean you can't create snapshots in your Affinity Publisher files, because you really can. So what's a snapshot? A snapshot stores the state of your file at a moment in time. Contrast that to reverting edits one by one using the history panel. Snapshots let you instantly roll back your work to a specific point. Snapshots are great if you're about to try a crazy new design with little hope it'll be a wise move. But even better to provide alternative designs when showcasing work to a client. You're not limited to a single snapshot either. You can create as many as you need. And there's so much more you can do with snapshots too. So let's take a look. So as I've said, snapshots supported in Affinity Designer and also Affinity Photo. They are managed through the snapshots panel, which I have displayed on the screen here. I've also made three snapshots inside this poster file. They're three different variations of the same poster. This one is the red sidebar. But I've also got two snapshots here, one with a black sidebar, and I can apply that snapshot simply by selecting it and clicking the button. And I did one with a white sidebar, and I will apply that. So that is what a snapshot does. It enables you to move between different versions of your file without having to undo anything. So back to the red one, which is fantastic. Sadly, and the whole point of this video, is that snapshots are not available in the interface of Affinity Publisher. However, don't let that stop you. You can use snapshots in Affinity Publisher. And seriously, this isn't a dirty hack. It's a lateral extension of the fact that all three Affinity applications use a common file format. So Affinity Publisher files do actually support snapshots, but there is no interface within Affinity Publisher to create, manage or restore snapshots. As long as you have access to Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo, there's a simple solution. Studio Link. Studio Link allows you to switch between the tool set of each Affinity application instantly. From Affinity Publisher, if you need access to dedicated vector design tools inside Affinity Designer, all the advanced photo editing features inside Affinity Photo, simply click the relevant application icon and your tool set switches instantly. And yes, that means that you can create a snapshot of your Affinity Publisher file using the snapshot tool inside either Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo. So I'm currently in Affinity Publisher with a file open. It has no snapshots in it at the moment. My first job is to make a snapshot as it is now before I make some fundamental changes. So I'm going to switch to Affinity Designer. I don't have the snapshots viewable at the moment, but up to view, down to studio and enable the snapshots panel. I'm going to drag that out so we can focus on it. And I just need to add a snapshot. So click the Add Snapshot button. It gives me a suggested name, but it's going to be much easier for me if I name this in a way that it describes my file. So in this case, I'm going to say that it's the orange cover. And at that point, I simply switch back to Affinity Publisher and carry on working. So I'm going to change the color of the cover. It's the most obvious thing that I can do. So uh, I need the gradient tool. There is a gradient on here and I'm going to change the gradient to a green and change the other end of that gradient as well. But not like that. That's not good. Let's make that much darker. There we go. So that is the second variation of my file. To make a snapshot for that, simply go back to Affinity Designer again and add another snapshot. This time, green cover back into Affinity Publisher and I'll do the final variation of this. So again, getting the gradient tool, this time I'll go for a blue and the other end. Some kind of blue. And that's my third variation. So once again, back into Affinity Designer and make the final snapshot. This time, blue cover. And I have all my snapshots. 
Now, to move between them, I do need to be inside Affinity Designer, inside Studio Link. So to return to the orange cover, simply select it from the list and click the button on the left hand side, which is Restore Snapshot. And I can then simply go back into Affinity Publisher and it's restored the orange version. I can even, from the edit menu in here, undo the restored snapshot, despite the fact this isn't the Affinity Designer toolset anymore. It's Affinity Publisher, but it will still roll back that change. So back into Affinity Designer again and clicking on the green cover and restoring that one. And you can simply move through these and restore them completely at will. Now, that is great as far as it goes, but it gets even better. From within the snapshots panel, you're able to select a snapshot. So let's say the green one. And using the button on the right hand side, you're able to create a completely new document based on that snapshot. So clicking that creates a new file. It also switches us back to the Affinity Publisher tool set and it is an Affinity Publisher file. If we then go back into Affinity Designer, you might be thinking, where have my snapshots gone? But we're actually in the green file that we've just created based on the snapshot. So this particular file doesn't actually have any yet. But if we switch back to the Office Summit file, then we have the other options as well. So if I want another file, but this time based on the blue cover, repeat the process. And I now have a third file open, and this is a completely separate file based on the blue cover. Oh, it's just so powerful. Can you tell how much I love this? The last thing to explain is that back in my original document with the three snapshots, now I have this blue version in a file of its own. I may decide I don't need the blue snapshot inside the main file anymore. And that's the last option in here we've not yet looked at, which is there is a delete icon and you can delete a snapshot. So the blue snapshot has now disappeared. Having said that, it hasn't actually reverted this particular file to either orange or green. It's left it alone. There just isn't a snapshot anymore to return to the blue if we make any changes. So I preferred the orange anyway. Let's roll this file back to the orange not forgetting to return to Affinity Publisher and carry on with the edit. And that is how you use snapshots inside Affinity Publisher. So let's have a quick recap. Ensure at a minimum that you have Affinity Publisher installed and one of either Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo installed too. Create your file in Affinity Publisher and at the point that you want to create a snapshot, Use Studio Link to switch to Designer or Photo and then add a snapshot. Use Studio Link to switch back to Affinity Publisher and repeat as required. If you want new tutorials and tips and tricks on a regular basis, check out my free training at elainegilescom VIP. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss future tutorials. And if you have any requests for specific tutorials, be sure to contact me. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>